Howdy folks, this is Grant with Appalachia on the Hunt. Today I'm going to make you a fall off the bone deer shoulder. It's going to be good. You ain't going to want to miss this one. Well, first you got to start with your ingredients. Carrots, onions, peppers, bacon, all kinds of good stuff. I'll make you a list in the description. Soak your favorite wood chips in some water. Uh, it's going to go on later once you put your uh, deer shoulder on the grill. Uh, get your charcoal started here. Uh, you don't have to use charcoal, but uh, any good American wood. There's a the goods right here, folks. 100% West Virginian deer shoulder. Now it's time to build your spice rub. Brown sugar, seasoned salt, chili powder, garlic salt, and cumin. I'd probably put that on my Cheerios in the morning. It's good. This is kind of self-explanatory, but get your spice rub and uh, just kind of rub it in there. Uh, be, be gentle. This deer never did anything wrong to you, and you're going to eat it. I remember the wood chips. Uh, I usually forget this step and they sit on my kitchen counter. But uh, just throw them on there. The first few minutes of smoke's really all you need. It'd be good to have some bigger chunks, but I didn't have any, so uh, if you got chunks, use them. Put this baby on the grill for 10 minutes on each side. Uh, that's really all you need. You want that char. Uh, you'll see when it flips over here. It uh, looks pretty daggone good. So 10 minutes on each side and uh, you'll be good to go. Oh yeah, looky there. Mm -hmm. Here's where we're roasting these poblano peppers. These things are delicious, they're my favorite. If you haven't ever tried them, try them. Fire roast them, they are delicious. You're going to want to heat up your liquid that's going to go on your shoulder while it's in the oven. I just use two containers of beef stock, uh, some liquid smoke, uh, stuff like that. And uh, do not forget about the beer because it is delicious. This is Rheingeist. You don't have to use it, but uh, it is good. My favorite beer at the moment. If 
you have any spices left over from your rub, go ahead and dump it in. It ain't gonna do nothing but help. If you had a half a beer left, go ahead and drink it. Well, bacon makes everything better. Get uh, five or six strips of bacon, cut it up into small little pieces, get it frying in your roasting pan. Well, the show is about to hit the road here. Just get your shoulder in the roasting pan and then get your liquid that you already have warm. Now you want it warm so it doesn't drop the temperature of the meat too much. It doesn't have to spend as much time in the oven. Carrots, onions, peppers, taters, mushrooms, just chunk them up into pretty big pieces. Get some cream of mushroom soup going on the stove. I actually put in two cans of it. Um, just get it going, it'll be ready for later. If this doesn't look good to you, I kind of feel sorry for you. This is at 375 for about two hours. Um, you're going to put all your vegetables in now and your cream of mushroom soup. Before this thing goes back in the oven, you want to dip out some of your liquid, just baste everything with it and get everything good and wet. All right, folks, another hour in the oven to let the vegetables cook up, and voila, that looks pretty good. This has turned out to be my favorite way to cook deer meat. And uh, not just front shoulders, I mean any deer meat. 
I'm a big fan of uh, fried deer tenderloin, but this right here is just good. Now this reminds me of my grandma's pot roast. You know, she'd make it all day and it would smell up her whole house and it was delicious. As you can see, my dog even likes it. And if you can tell by his size, he is quite the finicky eater. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if I can leave you with something, stop grinding up those front shoulders. This is the best way to do it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> mm.